The next step is a big one, as your team will differ in their opinions as to what is urgent and what they can actually tackle given their time and resources. And of course where the problem is close to their hearts. Identifying the problem in and around your school and making a clear description is what step four is all about. Step four, identifying the problem and describing it. Choose the problem that is most urgent or important. Do not choose too many large problems to solve as you may have a limited time in which to action your solutions. You can have a bigger plan and choose one element of this as your problem for this project and then continue with the other sections later. You can choose a short or long-term project as long as you show impact, a positive change from the actions you took that can be presented as a complete project. We are looking for creativity in the problems chosen, ones that are unique or different, as well as solutions that are thinking outside the box. Who knows, your team could come up with a solution that could help hundreds of schools with the same challenge to overcome it. Example of one of the topics your team could choose. Academic. The problem your team chooses to solve is the poor academic results. Make it specific. Choose a subject or grade you want to work on as you've got a limited time frame and you want to show the greatest impact. So let's say you choose maths in grade 8 as the subject where you want to see marks improve. You first get the test results of the learners in the grade for the last maths test. Then you form a group of tutors who give extra lessons to learners as the action. Then after a few weeks you get the results of their next test. You then make a graph that shows the same learner's marks before your action and after, and the positive difference should be easy to see. Then you can prove you have made an impact. Environmental. The problem your team has chosen is the high rate of littering and vandalism in the school. First, you'll need to probably do some research, such as a survey, where you will find out why teachers and learners think that there is such a big problem with littering and vandalism in the school. You then check the results of the survey and see if your actions should be to get more dustbins for the playground or to punish those caught littering or vandalizing. Or you create a timetable where learners in different grades have to clean the playground after break daily. Ensure you get evidence of all the steps, including photos of before, during and after. Then you send out another survey to the same people to see if the problem has been solved. If the results are positive, then you can show that your actions made a sustainable impact on the problem. Social. Let's say you choose bullying as your topic. You first have to decide whether your target market is the bullies or the victims, or both, as they will be different actions depending on what your team decides. It is important to be sensitive with all social issues, as they are often not what they seem when you first look at them. Bullies often have their own problems that they are taking out on their victims. Both sides need help. You need to show that your actions made a positive and lasting impact on the bullying problem, whether it is to counsel the victims and teach them self-defense so they can tackle the bullies better, or if you decide to rehabilitate the bullies by sending them for counseling to change their behavior. 